Five. Jack five. And this is part of the problem with limping in and then calling a raise like that instead of making the play back at Phil Ivey or having been the initial raiser. On a flop like this, you're in no man's land. And effectively, Don has opened the door to allow Phil Ivey to turn a profit from rag hands by being the aggressor. And Cheadle folds, and that means Phil Ivey has really come back strong in this match. He now leads Don Cheadle by about a two to one chip margin. And you can see the body language on Don Cheadle starting to shift. He's going into his shell. He's obviously feeling more defeated than he was when he had that significant chip lead. Anytime you want to give me an ace, anytime. All the pressure on Ivy in this match. He's supposed to win. I'm all in. And with 9-8 off suit, he goes all in. I call. Quick call from Cheadle. Well, asking you shall receive. There's the ace. <laughs> eight nine off suit for Phil Ivy. Ace do some hearts for Don Cheadle. Share a smile over that. Eight nine, not the biggest of dogs, just about three to two, as you see in our percentages. Brought to you by Card Player Magazine. Could flip flop it. Let's see a flop. Don Cheadle needs this hand to hold up to stay alive. Flop comes four, four seven five. five. Rainbow. Now, a three will give Cheadle a straight, Ooh, that's a six dramatic. will give Ivy a straight. That's juicy. Three, six, that's dramatic. Six is just get it over. Difference yeah, is, is Don game. doesn't need a card. Six is game over. For Phil Ivy. Here comes the turn. The turn, king, king of clubs, of very little consequence. That helps me, not a six. Now, anything other than a six, eight, or nine will double Don up. And it's a three River ball. brings a three, and for posterity's sake, a straight for Don Cheadle with the win. He does double up. And just like that, the chip stacks essentially flip-flop. Goes from 26-14 in favor of Ivy to 28-12 in favor of Cheadle. 14. Was 14 even? Yes, sir. Joe Ivy with 12,000. And, and now at the outside tables, there's an all-in and call between Eric Larravee and Isabel Mercier. The last time it was big slick for Larravee against Isabel. This time she's got the big slick. And she's going to take it into battle against Queen-10. Mercier has Larravee covered. Flop is six, jack six. No help for the internet qualifier here. To think he's come this far, getting through 37,000 people, and now he's having trouble getting through one. Turns a four of diamonds. And Eric Larravee needs a queen or a ten to stay alive. No help on the river. It's an eight of clubs. That means Isabel Mercier has advanced into the field of 32. Well, Eric Larravee can be proud of what he accomplished just to get here to Las Vegas and play in the event while Isabel Mercier is going to move on to the round of 32 where she's got her sights on Christy Gates. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Three more players have moved on to the round of 32. Brad Booth got by the professor, Howard Letterer. Downtown Chad Brown hit a miracle deuce on the river to get past Yosh Nakano. And Gabe Kaplan beat Todd Brunson. Let's get back to the feature table. Thanks, Shauna. And to the surprise of many, Don Cheadle continues to lead Phil Ivey. Ivey arguably the top player in the field. 24,000 to 16,000 is Cheadle's chip advantage. I know the Crazer level is up. And being the top player in the field, when Phil Ivey pays you a compliment at the table across the felt from you, you take it seriously. At one point, when Ivey was down to 5,000 in chips, he told Don he deserves to win because he's been playing so well. Cheadle with 6-5 will raise to 7,000. And with the blinds at 1,500 and 3,000, I can appreciate the idea of getting aggressive. The problem is for Don Cheadle that he's likely to be outplayed by a guy like Phil Ivey after the flop. Another 4,000 to call. Phil calls and doesn't look completely enamored with his own play. Flop comes queen, six, king, a pair of sixes for Cheadle. And this is where it's tricky. You'd like to see Don follow through here, but instead he makes a timid check and makes a second pair on the turn. It'll be much easier for him to fire at this. 
Now, Ivy's drawing dead, but you see him reaching for chips. He obviously thinks Don has no pair, some sort of ace high. I'm all in. Ivy bet 4,000, and Cheadle moves all in. Good play. Ivy folds, Cheadle takes down the pot. Still bets, Don goes all in. Did you have ace king? I did not have an ace, I did not have a king. So Phil, Ivy down to 5,000 in chips. That's less than two big blinds. The favorite in this tournament, really, with his back up against the wall at this point, he's going to have to get incredibly lucky to escape elimination at this point. I'm all in. Ivy moves all in with suited jack nine. How much is it? 2,000. I call. call. And Cheadle call. calls with 9-8. Well, he's got Cheadle in a bad way. Got him dominated. Playing Not each other's cars done. again. And the flop Jack brings a one. pair of jacks for Phil one. Ivey. And an open-ended straight for Don Cheadle. These two really know how to keep it exciting. Drama, drama. Maybe they put a nine up there. That'd be a good car. Good, good for the game. Turns a king of hearts. Cheadle needs a seven to eliminate Phil Ivey. A queen will split the pot. That was pot. a real, bad, that was a real a bad car for you. Not good. That was the worst card in the deck for you. Yeah. Yeah. Queen doesn't really go for me. And the river reduces hey, spades. Phil Ivey's doubled up. He now trails Don Cheadle three to one. Well, the crowd can collectively exhale. Their brackets are still alive. <laughs> it's like picking a 16 over a one, really, to take Don Cheadle over Phil Ivey. This is the longest I ever last in this event. Me too. Surprisingly. You played this last year? No. <laughs> one second would have been the longest I'd have survived. You know, Phil Ivey is one of the game's great players, but the heads-up format hasn't been particularly kind to him. He's been a favorite in each of the first three years of this tournament, and in each of the past two years, he's been knocked out in the first round. Whoa, baby dog! So here we are in 2007, and he's got some work to do here against Don Cheadle if he wants to avoid getting knocked out in the first round once again. Yeah, Ivy got pretty unlucky in that match against Chad Brown in 06. Also lost to David Sklansky in 05. And in 07 here, he could lose to an actor, Don Cheadle. Come on, man. Ivy's moved all in with Queen 8. And Cheadle takes a peek at Queen Jack. Call. Cheadle calls. Bill has Queen of Clubs, 8 of Diamonds. And, uh -oh. and he's got queen Ivy's diamonds, Queen 8 in a world of hurt. Maybe we'll split it. Chop, chop. Here comes the flop. Bill needs an eight. In reality, there is a 7% chance these two will split king, the pot. Three, ten, flop is 10, spades. Trey King. Don has the best hand and open an open-ended straight, straight for Don Cheadle. And the only spade. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going and then say Don wins, and then we'll be good. Here's the turn. Bill needs an eight. And there no is eight, but the a pair of jacks for Cheadle. Now you get a nine. You got more outs. Or an ace. Ace helps you. Yeah, ace is chop, right? Bill Double. Ivey cannot win the pot. He can only tie. Without a nine or an ace, Don Cheadle is into the round of 32. And Phil Ivey is eliminated for the third straight year. Ooh. Deuce of hearts on the river. The most improbable of upset victories in round one as Don Cheadle has defeated Phil Ivey. That is the sound of my bracket, Matt. A big upset at the feature table as the round of 64 is complete in the Diamonds bracket. There's a look at who's moving on to the next round as we check in with Shauna Hyatt, who's with Phil Ivey and Don Cheadle. Phil, everyone had you to win. How did Don beat you? He, actually, he played surprisingly well. I mean, um, I kind of expected something else, and he uh, gave me a couple different looks. He uh, tightened up when he needed to, played aggressive when he needed to, and. Um, he, uh, he, played, he played very well. He deserved a win. And what does this win do for your confidence, Don? You know, I just feel like I was fortunate. You know, we had a bunch of races. I won the last one when it counted. But this is his world. I'm just, I'm just a visitor. I'm just glad it, that I, you know, played well today. And we'll see what happens for the rest of the tournament. All right. Thanks, Don. Thank Congratulations. You.
Find some chews, baby. Oh, man, that's it. What can you do? Come on. Is the microphone picking up my heartbeat? What are you supposed to do when you lose? I'm not sure. For Ali Najad and Shauna Hyatt, this is Matt Vaskersian saying so long from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, the home of champions. You've been